Good afternoon. Happy Friday. I will uh, save discussion of my lunch for the end. I know there was a lot of heated discussion about mayonnaise in my comment section. It's a very dividing topic. Um, and we'll get to the meat of the matter for those of you who just want uh, to hear the news, as it were, since Frog's on hiatus. Apparently today, uh, Jack Miller, Texas Sheepdog 72, was arrested for CP. If you don't know what CP is, you probably don't want to know. It's a terrible thing. Anyway, in 2019 or so, Texas Sheepdog made a video, I believe in support of Earl, like around the time Earl was arrested, where he said basically, uh, you know, I don't care if you diddle dogs or if you diddle kids, uh, as long as you're uh, filming the police, you're you're okay. You're welcome uh, to be in to hang out with or whatever. Like I, I don't remember exactly how he phrased it. I just remember the part about I don't care if you diddle dogs or diddle kids because you should care if someone diddle, <laughs> diddles dogs or diddles kids. Either one of those things I think should disqualify a person from being a member of society. You are of course welcome to your own interpretations. <coughs> But I, I don't think that we need people like that to exist, personally. <clears throat> anyway. So that was, you know, should have raised more alarm bells than it did. Uh, but he deleted it, I think, after I mocked him and I uh, started calling him Diddlin' Jack. I think maybe he uh, got enough heat over that particular comment that uh, he changed his tune, or at least uh, got quieter about it. The second thing was, uh, at some point, I want to say maybe a year or two later, Jack took what he alleges was a rubber training pistol into the Leon Valley uh, City Hall, city <coughs> excuse me, city building, and the police thought that he took an actual live firearm. He may have, he may not have. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, but they ended up raiding his house looking for this, uh, this pistol that they thought he brought into the, uh, the city building. So I remember Salvaggio mentioning something about Jack and a sexual assault against a minor investigation that was then ongoing. And they traded a few barbs over it, and that should have sunk in, but, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I missed it. Mia culpa. Well, no, I thought it was odd at the time, but no charges were brought, and, you know... I mean, I don't, I don't like Jack, and I don't, I don't watch his videos or anything like that. I guess I am, I am subscribed to him, but I never, I never watch his videos. It's one of those dead subscriptions everybody has. <clears throat> but every once in a while, he'd make like a, a community post comment, and I'd laugh at it and mock it because why not? He was a bit of a lol cow. You know, every once in a while, you just want to laugh at someone, right? So. Then I guess uh, recently he got into a bit of a, a kerfuffle. He was driving a little like bobcat, pushing stuff that onto somebody else's property or off of his property or something like that. There's a maybe an altercation over it. The police were called. Um, C.J. Grisham, Chicken Hawk, Tiny Grisham. Uh, he was somehow involved in it, but. Uh, I made a video about it at the time. A, a family law attorney was going to represent Jack in a civil suit against the city and or the police chief or whoever was involved in that. But uh, shortly after, or, or maybe it was in response to, uh, somewhere around that, <clears throat> the police raided Jack's house again. Uh, this time they were looking for electronics that would... Uh, that may contain evidence of the assault, like if he filmed it or something like that. Well, apparently, uh, when reviewing those electronic devices, 
for evidence of the assault, they found evidence of CP. I would much rather them have found evidence of an assault. Well, anyway, so now he has been charged with uh, possession of CP, $150,000 bond. The really bad news for him, though, is that uh, C.J. Grisham is the one representing him. I guess he couldn't afford a family law attorney. You know, family law attorneys are the best attorneys, right? And first-year family law attorneys... Whatever. First-year family law attorneys are first-year family law attorneys, right? Anyway, so that's Jack. So, uh, if you don't want to hear about, about any of the personal stuff, about me just hemming and hawing, Now's the time to click off. Uh, but today, for those of you keeping track, I had Wendy's. I had the pretzel bun baconator. Now, it could be a very good burger, except it comes with mayonnaise on it. Ugh. Why? Why would you put mayonnaise on a burger? Not even, even my wife's homemade mayonnaise, which is delicious. Why would I put it on a burger? Mayonnaise does not go on a burger. When do people start putting mayonnaise on a burger? Ketchup, maybe. Mustard, probably. Pickles. I mean, you can get fancy. Maybe you do like blue cheese or caramelized onions or something like that. But mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Ugh. Then as far as my trial today goes, uh, huh, what trial? The uh, opposing counsel sent over a settlement offer last night at like 8 o'clock at night, and my client accepted it this morning. But we've been, and, and it was all the big issues, right? So today we're in court hammering out all the little issues, and uh, we're not, it's not a trial, we're just negotiating them out. And it's taken forever, so I'm at lunch right now. Might as well have just gone to trial with how long it's taken to get all this hammered out. I thought we would have been done like within an hour or so, but like I said, went to lunch. And I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I mean, I get paid to be there. That's great and everything like that, but my God. My God. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Wendy's good, Manny's bad. Order your Baconator without mayonnaise. Trust me, you'll appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.